Today I am going to be making beef fried rice. I started off with three cups of white rice. I cooked them in this pan. That was about an hour ago. I've been letting it sit around for all the water can, can completely drain out of it because if you use it just after cooking, your rice is going to come out soggy. Here I have had a steak. I have cut this up into small pieces of what I'll use. This I'll use in another batch. To put that back in the fridge. Here I have cut up some onion and garlic cloves that I will add to the rice later. Here I have a bunch of soy sauce packets that I'm going to be needing for this. I don't actually have a big container, I'll just use a bunch of these. Here I have a bunch of frozen vegetables that I will be adding into this later. Okay, right now I have my frying pan. I just turned the heat on and now I'm going to use about a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And then I'm going to go get my meat. I'm going to add my marinated meat. Okay. Spread that out. Turn your heat to high. And now stir fry for about two minutes. And now I have to clean this off because it has to be sanitary. I was working with raw meat with this. I'm also going to clean off any pans that may be contaminated with raw meat. Okay, it's been about two minutes of high heat. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to remove it from the heat and I'm going to put this off to the side until it is needed. Okay, I just got my big pan. I have it on low heat right now. It's about warmed up now, so I'm going to turn it up to medium heat. I put a little bit of olive oil in here for none of the food will get stuck. Now I'm going to take my onions and garlic and dump them in. Leave this in here for about a half a minute. Let this sit half a minute. Okay, it's been about 30 seconds, and now I'm going to dump in the rest of the vegetables I want in here. You can use any kind of vegetables you want. Leave this in here for about another 30 seconds. You can let it cook for longer, depending on how soft you want your vegetables. I'm using frozen ones. Okay, after 30 seconds, you're gonna take your rice and you're gonna start dumping that in. Your rice should be dry. It should have been sitting out for about maybe an hour. And that's exactly what I did with my rice. As you can see, I am making a lot of it. Right now, the heat is still on. Leave your heat on while you are mixing this. Okay, and now you're going to take some soy sauce. Mix it into your rice. Okay. Mix that in. And also, you're going to want to add a little bit of maybe salt to this. Okay, and now you're going to remove the heat. Now, th there's no flame under this. 
Make sure you mix in everything evenly. Now I'm just going to take a pinch of salt. Okay. And if you want, you can also add a few other spices. Okay. Okay, and now it is time to add the meat. Here's the meat from earlier. It's one piece that got stuck. Okay, Com completely mix this in and your rice will be done. Thank you for watching. The rice smells good too. Here it is, it is now completed. Thanks for watching.